Hey, my loves. It's like gold. How we doing? How we doing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Today, I'm gonna try something brand new. Um, I've never attempted this before, but it's gonna work. Usually, anything that I try when I attempt it the first time, it works. The second time, it's like, but first time, it usually works out. So let's give it a go. So it's the new trend brow lamination. Fluffy look, you know, high fashion, runway right, look. Yeah. I'm gonna give it a go today. Like I said, there isn't very much there to work with, but I think I think I can we'll see, we'll see. I don't usually get involved in the eyebrow trend because I I was not blessed in that department at all. Eyebrow pencil has been my my best friend from the early 2000s. Doesn't matter anyway, because my, my microblading is coming up with the brow fairy herself. Microblading by Madeline, like I literally cannot wait. I cannot wait. Um, she had a um, corona, corona, post-rona um, code. So her usual treatment is 375 pounds, but with the post-rona code, it went down to 200 pounds. And I was like, yeah, I snapped that up. My initial appointment was the 30th of May, and yeah. Now I'm attempting brow lamination. Right, so so I cleanse the brow with a little bit of rose water, get rid of any excess oils and stuffs, and then I grabbed my edge brush. Yeah, good old fashioned edge brush and some guts to be. This is what my um my items of choice today. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. And this would be the time that you would, you know, pluck away any excess hair, you know, neaten up the brow. You'll see in a minute that I'm just pretending to pluck because, like I said, I've not got very much brow, so I very rarely pluck away the little that I get. So yeah, as you can see, I'm just pretending to pluck brows. But it's at this moment that you can pluck any excess hair that you may have underneath, around, you know, kneading it up a little bit, get a bit sharp. See, pretending. Then we get the item, the tools of choice today, coming up a bit. I'm pulling American accent, ain't I? Pop it in there, I was like, comb it up a bit. <laughs> so, first of all, comb it up. Um, I, I don't know, maybe to neaten it out. I don't know, there's hardly anything there. <laughs> yeah, so comb it down first and then brush it up. Brush it up. Add a little bit, a bit got to be as you're going along. Just brush it up, brush it up. Once you've got it to the desired um, location, position, just fill in any excess gaps, spaces with your eyebrow pencil. I tried to pretend to use Mac Stud, but I don't know who I was fooling. I don't know who I was fooling. Yeah, I know what I like. I know what I like. I like my good old fashioned sleek eyebrow pencil from your hair shop. That's been discontinued by the way. Sleek, hello. Just give it a little pinch so it's really nice and sharp at the end to look like hair like strokes and just fill in all those little gaps along the way. Mine is a full full on filling because I have none. I had very little brows to start off with. So yeah, just go ahead and fill in all those gaps. Make it look nice and fluffy. Yes, honey, she's getting there. Uh, it was at this point that I realized that they weren't extreme enough. They weren't as straight up and startled as I wanted. So I just went back in with a brush, a little bit more product to get that desired look I was going for. What I'd done was spray a bit of the spray on the table and dab the brush into the spray as opposed to spraying it directly onto the brush because then you would have excess product. So just dab it a little bit at a time. A little, a little bit goes a long way. And just continue to do that until I achieved my desired look. And then went back in with a pencil to fill in all the excess gaps. Or should I say, 
Oh, I was really going for it with that brush, wasn't I? All right, so I was brushing the skin on my face. Yeah, all right. And now, <laughs> went in with a pencil and filled in all those excess gaps. Yeah. She's coming along. Even watching it back on the bed, I can see she's coming along. Mm-hmm. I'm happy. <laughs> She's happy. We happy. Obviously, repeat the look on to the other brow. This brow is <laughs> this brow here. She got issues. She's about two two, two strands of hair on this brow. But yeah, repeat that on the other side again, filling in all the gaps with the desired eyebrow pencil of your choice. Poor left eyebrow is li literally non-existent. But we get into it. We get into it. <laughs> Brushing skin. Let's do it. Fill in all those gaps. I had a lot of gaps to fill in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She getting there. She getting there. So I'm just cleaning up the edges a bit, like um, getting rid of the excess got to be with a little bit of our rose water. at this moment I'd like to apologize for the fact that even though I shot two videos at the same time I didn't change my outfit like hello so apologies and I'm wearing the same thing from my story time but that won't happen again we's learning we's learning whilst we cleaning up those brows So obviously you don't have to draw them like to the extreme, you know, vertigo like I have. I'm going for the real lamination look. And you know what? They're banging. Sorry. Sorry, I don't care, innit? Uh, they look this one isn't this one isn't that that one isn't the best. But it didn't start off the best. This one had a better fighting chance from the jump. Yeah. I like you, I like you. And guys, and guys, I know this concealer is not going to be like the right concealer. I'm going to put it on, you're going to be like, what is she doing? But yeah, I, I don't buy makeup for the summer, so this is like my um, winter face makeup. <laughs> We're on a summer base, so um, yeah. Like I was using Revolution Concealer Divine in color 12.5. I don't know why I'm telling you this because I'm no makeup artist and I'm probably not going to tell you about all the other products I used, but it was the wrong colour. I mean, she's a good consistency in that, but the colour is not working, but anyway, we move. I actually don't like it with the concealer. What is she doing? I feel like it's ruined it, like. I, I, I. No, I'm being hard on myself, it isn't good. What are we talking about? Look again. It's just cause it's the wrong color. It's blatantly the wrong color. Once I paint the whole face anyway, you won't really be able to tell. Just do the top button up and keep my hands down. You won't be able to tell that I'm the wrong color, but right now it's just that concealer just looking off. Uh, at this point, I decided to go in with some eyeliner. I used e.l.f. liquid liner. I don't know what 
which one it is, but just to, you know, pick up and give the brat a bit of a 3D definition. Like, not going over all the hair strokes with the eyeliner, just picking out hairs here and there to just give it a little bit more of a 3D effect, a bit more texture to the brow. Yeah, this was this was the defining moment of the brow look coming together. This is this look is coming alive, honey. I am gagging. I don't know what that camera is showing you or what, but this mirror is showing me some brow lamination goals. You be careful with the eyeliner now. Be sure to dab off the excess before you go onto your brow with it. I mean, you can use some kind of like eyebrow. They've got eyebrow pens now, but I haven't tried any yet. But I'm guessing it's the same, similar kind of effect. But just dab off the excess from the eyeliner. Okay? Okay. If that is not at home brow lamination, using your to bead and your edge brush then you know. just finish up on the other side making sure they both look kind of the same and there you go let's get it honey let's go these are goals yeah and this is my first I told you anything you know, I put my hand to bruv mm-hmm Mm-hmm. Like I said, the concealer is mud. It, it looks like I stole it from somebody's dead mother. Deceased. I'm so sorry, salon owners, but you might as well just forget about putting lamination on your menu. I've told them how to do it at home. Simple as simple something. Oh, wow. Can you say that? Okay, guys, so that was my brow at home brow lamination using things that you probably got you don't need to get a kit yeah most of you probably got got to be in an edge brush if you ain't got an edge brush you can use a toothbrush you can get this everywhere all the hair shops even like local supermarkets it's swash swash you can get this everywhere you know super drug anywhere anywhere amazon everywhere you can, you can literally get this anywhere and you can just use a normal toothbrush if you haven't got one of these i used a comb to brush to comb it first, down first and then brushed it up but you can always use a toothbrush and just brush it down and brush it up. But I mean, for real, for real, I'm impressed. I, I really am, like digging it. Like first attempts as well. By the time I've done this like two, three, four, five times, it's lit. Try this at home, try this at home. Leave some comments in the section, tell me how you got on trying it. Obviously you don't have to brush them up so extreme like I did, but I wasn't really working with much, so I had to make an impact with the little that I had. But, yeah, tell me it was helpful. I don't know how long they're gonna wear. So, I mean, I will review how long they last, but right now it feels like, it feels like some like, expensive Botox. And because the got to be so like, the blast in free spray, you, you know, what this is, this is like, I reckon it's just really gonna combat the shine. People find this problem, like I put my eyebrow pencil on, it looks nice, whatever. Halfway through the day, it's like all melted, it's all it's all running to each other, it's just, it's just not very attractive. So I think the freeze hold from the got to be is gonna kinda counteract that. But like I said, I'm gonna give it a trial run and I'll update you guys on how they worked out. But I mean, are you as impressed as I am? Because I'm impressed. Like, legit impressed. And guys, thanks for all the support. Like, it's been really good. I've had hundreds of views, like, really quickly. And like, you guys are just subscribing, subscribing, subscribing. I need to like, 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 like. But hundreds of views and only a little bit of likes. So just, you know, when you view it, just like it. I mean, even if you don't like it, just like it. Yeah? Comment and, hmm. I mean, I can't stop, I can't stop looking at them.